I'm, uh, I'm alive. Uh, everyone, everyone's here. It's like you're alive. What, what just happened? I could have sworn everything was destroyed. I died. I'm still here. Was it just a dream? Was it just another one of those dreams? I, I don't understand what could have happened. Maybe it was. Maybe maybe it was. Slate? Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ship's all fueled up and ready to go. Uh, did, did, did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before the launch, but if you ask me, it all makes a bit jumpy. Uh, maybe I was maybe he was right. Maybe it was a bad dream. Wait, what's this? It wasn't a dream. The launch codes. I have them. I never picked them up the night before. Are they the same codes, though? Oh, hold up! You're gonna want to get the launch codes from the observatory first. How did I get back here? Didn't I already lift off? Trust me, with the modifications I've made to those rockets, there's no way I would have missed that. I won't ask how you got the launch codes, but seeing as you have them, get a move on. I want to see whether the new cockpit stays attached during liftoff. Yeah. This is weird. I don't know why. The sun, it looks like it's back to normal. Very bright, ye yellow. Maybe, maybe my sh ship's computer. That's everything I've learned up to now. It wasn't a dream. But then how? It just doesn't seem possible. Maybe, maybe just... That statue. That statue. Things started going awry as soon as that statue looked at me. What did Hal say? Maybe, maybe Gabbro on Giant's Deep would know more about that statue. I've got to get there and find him. Alright. Giant's Deep. Can't be that far. I mean, I just saw it pass overhead not too long ago. Alright. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Ignition here. This, this is freaky. Uh, let's see. Let's try and get my bearings. Said my goodbyes last time. Went to the Adel Rock and said, taught to Esker. D did some studying about the Nomai ruins there. Apparently, they were looking for some eye of the universe. Where is the Adel Rock, anyways? Oh, there it is. Then, then everything just fell apart. Every the sun was becoming a red giant. And everything was destroyed. I've got to find Gabro. Maybe they know more about what's going on than I do. They're the ones who brought that statue back, so they have to know. Alright. Just need to remember what happened last time we got there. Uh, just avoid the giant swirling tornadoes of death, and all should be good. Maybe we'll have a better chance of finding Gabro. Whole signals coming from the planet itself. It right, looks like it's coming from the hemisphere. I've lost contact. Uh oh. Whoa! 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 Thank goodness this thing's airtight. 
I mean, it would have to be airtight if I wanted to survive the depths of space. Oh, hi. You're a, you're a big boy, aren't you? That tells me I should probably give you a white berth. Signals. Wait. Think. Yes. It's coming from that island. Wait. All right. The tornado was getting a little too close to for comfort on this place. We need to find Gabbro. Oh, they're over there. Uh, it'll be nice to see one of the other travelers. Maybe Gabbro can understand. Help me understand what the hell's going on. Nice, it's you. Glad to see you made in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So, hey, don't laugh, but I think I might have just, like, died somehow. Do you remember, you know, dying a few minutes ago? Maybe? I think we're the only one who knows. Yeah, I tried radioing Hornpels and asking them if they had died too. But they thought I was just being metaphorical or something. Well, if you remember dying, then I guess I didn't just fall asleep and have a bad dream or something. I don't know what's going on though. Today's been weird. Like, I was on a different island earlier, right? I was on the beach looking at one of those big stone statues of a gnome I had. And the next thing I know, it looked back at me, glowing. The statue replays everything I've just done, like it's been watching me through my own eyes, you know? Then suddenly, it stops and everything's normal again. That happened to me at the observatory. You too, huh? Come to think of it, when I died, I saw what I'm pretty sure were my memories going backwards. Just like the time with the statue. Do you think the Nomai statues are related to us dying somehow? And another thing, we died, but we aren't dead. That's pretty unusual for Hearthians. Well, that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first solo voyage. Let's talk about you, you know. How space treat ya? What, what brought you back to Giant's Deep? Well, what are any of us doing here, really? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I'll tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quite peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quite peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts up my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. Is there anything I should explore while I'm here? Well, actually, after waking up from, you know, dying, I saw the same bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. Yeah, I've got a feeling I know what that is. There was something orbiting Giant Steep that shot off something into deep space and then fell apart. It happened twice now. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Any idea what the hell's up with this planet? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you meant, like, tell you more about it. I gotcha. Well, Giant Steep is massive and mostly water. No surprise there. There's a strong current weighs beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I've tried everything I could think of to get past the current, and neither idea worked. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with the Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You see, 
seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their path. Islands included. cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll put you in a trance if you look at them long enough. Uh, so, about where we were left off. Uh, so anyway, uh, where's your ship? I seem to see a lack of a ship on this island. That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, Unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. Heh. <laughs> That'd be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. You know, I get why the other workers say that you're... you. Well, we got a couple of leads out here. Might as well, you know, take a look at the statue island and see if maybe it has some answers as to why we managed to survive this, uh, universe dying. Business. Man, just looking at those things off in the distance creeps me out. You know, also the fact that we got launched into low, giant, steep orbits by one of those. Gotta say, not really a fan. You'd have to be Gavro to be relaxed on this owl island. Oh, there goes my legs. Ugh. Ah, oh, much better. Alright, well, let's lift off and let's see. Oh, God. oh no. Oh boy! There we go, we're off. Oh, hey. One of the islands is just right in front of us. Oh, since it's here, it's not. It doesn't look like it's, uh. Nice, safe touchdown. Hmm. Do you remember the markings on these floor? Almost looks like no my writing. The pod right here also resembles no my pottery as well. Maybe this is a no my facility. Oh. Yep, this is definitely a no my facility. Wonder what they were doing out here. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Private up to the Orbital Probe Cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe that the cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. If I know my brother, Avans, and his spouse, will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avans and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum power to create room for their enthusiasm. Are you going gelatinous on this, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they are atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avans behave together, Daz, 
You may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. So that's what's orbiting above us. And that's that's definitely it. It looks like the thing that shot off when I woke up. I wonder what they were trying to launch probes for. Maybe, maybe to find the eye? Oh. I mean, you gotta give the Nomai ingenuity. If they use the natural stuff that this planet provide, uh, that thing's getting a little too close for comfort. Uh, safe spot, safe spot, I need a safe spot! Uh. Uh, maybe, maybe this? Yep, by the looks of this thing, it is a safe spot to, um, I guess, protect them when they got launched into space. I'm guessing the same with my ship as well. You know, I have to say, I have to get to know my credit for their creativity and using the planet's natural ecosystem to build and their ingenuity. It just makes me wonder what truly happened to them, because if this was a species that had such great foresight to build safety chambers against the cyclone and be able to use the planet's natural ecosystem itself to create such an impressive machine in orbit above the planet, how did they all die off? Structural module projection stone. I have bad news, Evans. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on an indefinite hiatus. Tell Private and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Private left to visit her brother. She feels Idea may feel responsible. Three seconds ago, long range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Mm. What's this do? Whoa! I'm in space? Is this like some kind of communication device? Must be inside the cannon because there's giants deep. Okay, that's freaky. Anything over there? Yep, I see something. I guess I'm going for a swim. Oh. Mm. Giant steep from Brutal Hollow itself. Canoid 
Gaz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon component to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Kasava convinced me not to try and recreate the phenomenon myself using the other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of giants deep down here at Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Kanoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface, to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. on this island. I'm not seeing anything else. So the mysteries of the Nomai are slowly beginning to unravel themselves before us. At some point, we probably should visit that orbital probe cannon. If I can ramp up the other islands here, maybe we'll, I'll have some time to jump into space and see if we can find it. The only way to get to the core of Giant's Deep, we need to go to Brittle Hollow. Looks like we're lifting off just in time. Stone archway. This must be the island Gabra was talking about. Interesting structure right there. Statues on the beach. I'm on the beach, but I'm not seeing a statue anywhere. Eh, for all I know, Gabbro was just being Gabbro again. Oh. 
I don't know how anything naturally formed on this planet. You would think things would need to, you know, take root and have time to cultivate and grow before something like this being launched into low orbit would kind of, you know, diminish the effect. Wait. What's going on? Why is everything getting dark? Oh no. It's happening again, isn't it? Everything is so dark. I even my scout scout can pierce this. Wait, now it's getting brighter. And it's getting hotter. 